Hi, I'm Tom Lynch, and I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts for my friends here at Art Creations, a little something about the paint, or the paper, or the brushes, or even watercolor canvas that I use. First of all, let me share with you something about Holbein watercolor paint. Now, there's lots of brands and lots of options, but what works really well for me, if you're like me and you like a painting that has some exciting color, or one here, just finished this one for one of the classes. Wow, look at the exciting color of those oranges or apples or the basket. There's a difference in paint brand. So I use the name Holbein watercolor paint. They have the highest pigment load. That means the intensity, that means the concentration. So out of the tube, there's a brighter color in that particular brand. Now my suggestion for you, and I'll share with you what I do, and you can see if any of it helps you. I choose the brightest color the manufacturer makes, then I choose a light, a medium, and a dark value so that I have a chance to deal with maybe the foreground or the background or the middle ground and I just shift over to a different value. But for me, realism and detail isn't the concern. So instead of doing detail, I have to do something extra and I have to increase the color. So instead of worrying about the details of that particular building or barn or coming back in with any more refinement to the apple or the orange or the basket, I use color as a way of entertaining the viewer. So Holbein watercolor paint is known for the, being the highest concentration of pigment. It's called pigment load. So that even you're not going to get dirtier colors as fast and your darks are not going to get chalky or opaque like it could with other brands. So if color and contrast are in your way of painting, look long and hard at the brand Holbein for your choice. The color that I use for some of these backgrounds is a color that no one else even has. That's a royal blue. And so instead of a Payne's gray or a neutral tint, only Holbein has a color like royal blue. Look at how exciting that red is. It just jumps off the page, doesn't it? It has a color called Opera. So they have some specialty colors that no one else has. And here's a big one that everyone likes. In the palette, if the color ever dries out, you can put a light spray of water and back, it comes alive. It could be there for a week or a month, even for six months. I just finished a class. Paint was put in their palette six, eight months ago. I came around with a light spray of water and in five minutes that color was milky again, just as if I squeezed out fresh paint. So, hey, wait a minute. You'll never throw away paint in your palette if it dries out. The Holbein is the only one that is able to regenerate like that. All the others dry and harden and cure and set and become stone. So anyway, a couple of great things about Holbein paint and that's what works well for me. Love the color brilliance, love using some darks if you're dealing with sunlight and shadow. That makes a real big difference in the brand that you use. So try that Holbein brand. You might just see like me that you'll go away from doing a lot of detail and enjoy just the color excitement. So check with my friends here at Art Creations, whether they can sell it to you mail order or stop by the store. They have a state-of-the-art facility that's one of the best. I travel the country and I'm happy to be here and share with you my friends at Art Creations about Holbein paint. Thanks for watching.